Hey, hello, what's up to the intro video of Hereford, the marathon switching program that I made a while ago. So, yeah, imagine that you have a marathon coming up. You got your graphics here and your designer probably said, hey, this is how you need to use uh, how to use it. And that's what this video is for. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you got your marathon graphics right here. The background here is Grand Theft Audio San Andreas 100% by Crucial or attempts to. So you want Hereford. So please post uh, Unger's slug or the full Hararo URL. Because I have my marathon on Unger's. I'm just typing in the slug. And it's loading everything, and with that, it also made a few files. Settings.txt and the folder text files. Settings, the only thing that's in here right now is the time format, HMMSS. I think this is good, but I could change it into HHMM or uh, optimal hours or optimal hours and minutes. Everything's possible. Well, almost everything's possible. It always prints minutes. But yeah, that's not what we're here for. We're here for whatever's in this folder. So, uh, for, for convenience sake and for setting up sake, I'm going uh, to write next. I could either write ne the N over here or I could write next, whatever's in green. So you could type it out or use a thing. If you ever need this back, because this, uh, okay, numpad enter doesn't work. Like this might be drowned into uh, what whatever this is. Just like a few ends, like this will be drowned. If you ever need to see this again, it says H for help, which I still need to make green. Good to know. You can find this again. But yeah, in any case, you can see that uh, game.txt has the text broforce in it. And it does. Woo! So yeah, this is as simple as you write estimate, uh, you, <coughs> you drag the um, text files into OBS and it just comes here. Whoa! Uh, console needs to be here as well. PC. And category is what I'm missing. Sure, arcade mode Broforce. And there are four runners here. There, this is not a limit, but I don't imagine anything having more than four runners. If there ever is, contact me, and I can always make a fifth one. But I, f I think that four is a good limit right now. Yeah, this is how the BSG layout looks like. Uh, and obviously, it doesn't have to be stupid aerial, whatever. I could uh, go to game TXT, select font into uh, uh, lemon milk. I love this is a good font. Actually, this needs to be like really big. So I could make it smaller myself so it looks really good. Yeah. And the runner font obviously has to be uh, uh, Simpson. I was searching for wingings, but nah, that's, pro that's probably a bad idea. Transport. Uh, outline. Sure, any in any case, everything is fully customizable. That's, that's what I was going for. You hardly see the green. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, the thing is... I can change this by just typing N, enter, and everything here changes, as you can see. Not automatically, but it doesn't have to be. Oh yeah, you can see that Elder Scrolls is like a really long title, but there is a way, and I don't know what the way exactly is. Uh, oh, you go in here, uh, custom text defense, yeah, with, uh, let's say for, 400, not 400. You can give it a custom width so it just goes to a new line. Obviously, this is not something I need to like be uh, wary of right now, but 
this is this is something for you. But yeah, it just changes by typing N, enter, and everything changes. I need to make this smaller. Yeah, imagine that. Obviously, it doesn't change everything at the same time. That's <clears throat> a problem with OBS, I think, because I've had it with another program that I made as well. Yeah. Uh, other than that, there's this folder here called Deck, and this has the current game, the next game, the next game after that, and the next game after that. So I already made an intermission thing, and that's what this is used for. Uh, oh yeah, it's not loaded yet. To load that, that is different from the next thing. So there's this async... Uh, yeah, these things are not synced. Meaning if I type N, nothing changes. But if I type next deck, you can see right here. Next deck. Or ND. If I type that, everything here fills in. Like, you're now watching Lithium City, which is indeed true. You're... You just saw Lithium City, but next up is Super Mario 3D World by Caron and Charlie Murder by Mortimer Nova. So the idea for this is if I type next right now, things change up to 3D World, which is true. And I go back to the, the game layout. Oh, hey, 3D World. And then whenever the, the run is busy, imagine life split here. I don't have life. I don't have life split open, but imagine life split here, or whatever timer you're using, and then during the game I type ND, and then the run is over. I'm going back to the thing, and you just saw 3D World coming up, Charlie Murder. So during intermission I type next again, or N, and hey, everything changed. That is the idea of how to use this program and this is what it looks like again next deck deck files are updated successfully and you just saw charlie murder coming up inside and snow brothers <clears throat> yeah, i don't know what else to say i could go back one if i want to go to the uh, previous run you go there i could also jump like with everything, I, it says current run number. That's really important. But what if I want to go to the middle of the marathon? I type jump or J. There are 42 <clears throat> runs inside of this marathon, but I want to go to number 22. And then it automatically goes to 22. And if I type next deck, I mean, SM64 was is currently on the layout. And then coming up is Yoku and Super Cable Boy. It is important to know that you don't have to use the current uh, thing. This is just for fun. <clears throat> I just chose to uh, at least show it at, uh, at one point. And the game after that is DKC2, Diddy Kong's Quest. But also decided not to show that. Some other features, like you can see with jumping, it, uh, I should probably go to the game layout. With jumping, and I go to number uh, 36, it automatically writes everything. There's also a silent jump that if I go to uh, 22, then the program is at uh, run 22, but it didn't write. So if I go next right now, it writes Yoku. What else can this thing do? Uh, with S or with start... It goes back to the start of the marathon. You can see that it only has a game and an estimate, like right here. And that's also only what's written. Like everything else, every other file right now, uh, I should probably go here. Uh, like game has intro in it, but console is empty. Update, like if your schedule ever changes, let's go to number 11 actually. If the schedule ever changes, you want to type update to uh, <clears throat> reload. Yeah, everything in the schedule because only at the start of the the program it loads everything from Angus or from Horaro. And if I type 
update, it updates again. So it's not like synced immediately. I'm sorry for that. But hey, that saves internet, which you don't need. I mean, I guess you do. Uh, reload the data from settings.txt, not really important. I guess that's it. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's Hereford. Some future updates that I want to make is editing files from within the program, but uh, I could literally snow brothers plus re it's my name. I could literally just write that and it doesn't interfere with the program. It only writes the moment you switch. It's not persistent. And another uh, future request that I want to make is that it automatically tries to update the game on Twitch. But I've had mixed success with it and I don't want to release a half-baked feature. So it's technically in the code and I could technically turn it on, but nah. Okay. That's it. If you liked it, uh, yeah, consider using it and telling me that you did so I can actually put you on the GitHub page and your marathon and I mean, why not? If you have questions, definitely hook me up on Discord, uh, recalled pound3561 or hashtag, whatever the cool kids use. And if you know what uh, this thing is in the background, uh, let me know.